Welcome to the Real Andy of Beverly Hills Show. Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the Real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. It is Monday, and with this Monday, a whole new set of tea. I feel that this week is gonna be cray cray, okay? I feel like this week is going to be insane, but we are recharged, we're coming from the weekend, and I'm gonna be here to take you through all of the things that are gonna be happening. All right, guys, we're about to talk the Real Housewife of New Jersey because is Margaret Joseph finally leaving the show? Girl, from my lips to God's ears, but we need to talk about it. But before we get into it, Welcome to the Verbally Troop. If you are new here, welcome to the Verbally Troop where I keep it real and I mention it all. So if you want to know what is happening inside of the Bravoverse, in the pop culture streets and more, well, you know what to do. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, guys, before we start, we need to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the people from this loyalty. This loyalty is a membership subscription that will give you amazing discounts in hotels and restaurants all around the world. So if you want to go and check it out, go to the link on the description below and don't forget to use my code M-A-M-A-L-A-0-9. It's down there, you know. So if you use it, you will get the whole first month for free so you can actually check it out, okay. If you have been following me on my other YouTube channel, Destination and This World, you know that I love to travel around the world and I love to find deals, you know, and I actually have been using them for a while, but now we are finally partnering up. So go and check them out. Okay, guys, let's talk about this. Margaret Josephs went on Melissa's Gorgas podcast on this play. And they were talking about what will happen if certain people return to the show. To which Margaret is basically saying that she will not come back. Well, I hope she's a woman of word, okay? Because we all know that Teresa is returning to the show, okay? But anyways, I don't think she will be missed. I don't think people are gonna like throw her a goodbye party. You know, I think we'll be like celebrating just like when we heard that Lisa Rena was fired or Monica Garcia. Yeah, that's the same way. That's the same thing that we're going to be doing if she decided to leave the show. OK, because we cannot continue doing this. Anyways, um, l let me read you exactly what, you know, she said. So on the Octo on the episode of On Display. With Melissa Gorga, after being asked how she will respond to being asked back to the Real Housewife of New Jersey with people she did not want to film with, Margaret confirmed, I just wouldn't. I just have to protect my family and I cannot put myself in that position and I think it will be dangerous for myself and my family. Girl, shut up! <laughs> She goes on and says she admits seemingly hinting at not wanting to film with Teresa or her husband, Louis Ruelas, who she claimed made threatening calls to her son, which was already proof that is fake. But anyways, um, uh, then when Melissa said that she has no answers about what the future will hold for the show, Margaret confirmed we know absolutely nothing. We don't know when we are going back to filming. I don't think you're going to be coming back, girl. We're just on a break. Mm -hmm. Same like Dorinda. We are on a much needed break. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't know anyone who's coming back because they probably already told them and they don't want to tell you. I don't know. We don't know what's happening. Margaret then took aim at Teresa's psychic. Oh, okay, this is so funny. So Teresa on her podcast, like I think a week or two weeks ago, decided to hire a psychic to talk about the future of the show. And she literally went one after one to see if they were going to be returning or not. 
pure entertainment. I mean, it was genius. I loved it, okay? But of course, I think, <laughs> I think she said, we are not bringing psychics on the show to tell us what's happening. Not psychics that look like a sci-show freak, at least. Of course, Margaret has to go after people's looks. I had to say that. That was funny. Someone said me that because I'm blocked, but that was kind of funny, she noted. Meanwhile, Melissa agreed that the ongoing discussion about what might happen with the Real Housewives of New Jersey are like beating a dead horse. I think we all need to just sit back, see what happens, and when it does happen, we all need to accept whatever it is. Exactly, Margaret replied. Whatever happens is what meant to be, and I think we're fine with it. Girl. As she looked ahead to the potential new season and who may back, Margaret says she had mixed suspicions. One day, I think they might just be like, we're sick of all of these broads in general. Let's just get all new people. But I think people are invested in us and invested in our life, not yours. I don't know. We still had good ratings. I change my mind every day. I don't wish bad on anybody, even the people I can't stomach. I don't want something bad to happen to them. I really don't. I don't want to see anyone lose money. As much as I can tolerate, I don't want to be around them. I don't want anything bad to happen to them. Um, I got lost. I'm sorry, guys. I don't want to see the demise of them. Girl does not literally know what you just said. According to Melissa, she felt that the ratings on the series were pretty amazing and that they were killing it before Bravo put them on pause. Melissa said, we were doing a really good job and I feel like there could still be a lot of show left. I feel like they could recast and still make a great show, but there's also another part that makes me feel like, listen, there is a lot of years we have been doing this and sometimes it is good to elevate and try new things and go another way, she acknowledged. Moving to, the possible, to, the, to her possible regrets, Margaret said she had none when it comes to season 14. I feel like everything came out right for me. I feel like I came out on top. The good blessed me a week before the final episode when I found out. I called the ex-attorney and the ex and I found out about Jackie going over there. That was like a gift. I was vindicated. Were you though? Because I don't think that vindicated at all. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's kind of like the important part. I think these two are living in such a denial world. They are already preparing everyone to act like the victims, to act like they were the good ones, to act like how could they do this to us. Girl, it's not going to work. Is not gonna work. So, anyways, let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to the Real Housewife of New Jersey or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya! Bye!